We are looking rough this morning. Ignore the pimple patches on my face if you can even see them. I bought the clear ones from Target this time, so hopefully they're not too noticeable. They don't have like any color to them, but I still feel like you can see them because they're literally on my face and that is like the center of your appearance, so just ignore that. But I wanted to start out this vlog with a little haul, not sponsored, I just picked up a few things lately and I'm obsessed with everything that I got and would highly recommend them for summer, so I figured I'd share with you guys. First thing that we have are these jean shorts from Revolve, like I said, not sponsored, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I found these shorts on Instagram, I follow Hannah Harrell on Instagram and TikTok and she does like outfit of the days and stuff like that. I just like love her vibe. And she posted a picture wearing these the other day or it was like a mirror selfie or something and then linked them. And I actually have another pair of shorts from the Rolas brand from Revolve also. There are these ones, but they're a little bit different. And I will have to say between the two, I definitely like these more. Also, I sized up in these. So I typically wear like a 27, which I think is what these ones are. Let me double check. Yeah, so these are a 27. I typically wear a 27. But she recommended that you size up at least one size in these for like more of a looser, baggier, kind of like trendy fit. And I just feel like it really did wonders for these shorts. Like I love the fact that they are loose, but like not too loose. And I love the fact that they're not tight. That's like my issue with these shorts. So. I bought these shorts a while ago, I shared them in a vlog, I still love them, would still recommend them, but now that I've sized up in these shorts, it makes me wish that I had sized up in this style of shorts also, still the same brand, but these ones are true to size, and I just feel like they like ride up my butt when I walk, which is my issue with jean shorts, because I do have a butt and I have thighs, so it's kind of hard to find jean shorts that don't like rub or like ride up and stuff like that, and I just feel like I've come to realize that when I buy jean shorts that are true to size, that's when that happens. But I'm gonna have to start buying them a size up just because yes, it is loose in the waist, but I almost prefer that to it being super tight around my waist and fitting perfectly because I know that these are gonna be so comfortable when I walk and I just feel like they're so flattering and I'm absolutely obsessed. They're definitely on the pricier end. I think these were like $99, but I'm at the point in my life where if I'm gonna buy jean shorts, I'm just gonna invest because I really just am not a huge fan of jean shorts. So I'd rather buy like a better quality pair and have fewer jean shorts than have a bunch of jean shorts that I hate, if that makes any sense. So I'm obsessed with these. I will have them linked down below. They're so good. This is what the butt looks like, the side. I just feel like these kind of like look like vintage Levi's and I'm here for it because they were literally off of Revolve. I have to step pretty far back for this one so hopefully you can still hear me. But this next one's also from Revolve. I'm just going to stick on the Revolve theme and this is the last one that I have. But this is this super comfy, super down midi dress. I've been eyeing on their website for months now and it's always sold out but I saw that it was back in stock when I went to buy the jean shorts. So I just bit the bullet and purchased it and I am so glad I did because this may be the most flattering dress that I now have in my closet and I just like absolutely love the color of it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's this really pretty green color. I don't know like what you would call this, like maybe a sage green or something of that sort. It has spaghetti straps that are adjustable in the back, things where you can either shorten or lengthen the straps. There's a slit on the side, it's bodycon. So it's very flattering and it is like the thickest, comfiest, nicest material of any dress that I currently own. They also sell this in brown, I think, and white if I'm not mistaken, but I just like love the color green right now for summer. I know it's very trendy. I also love the color orange. I just think those two are my colors of the summer. So I went ahead and invested this. Revolve can be very expensive, but Super Down is one of the brands on Revolve that I found that is actually pretty affordable. I would compare it to probably like Abercrombie prices or anything in that realm. So it's a little bit higher end, but it's not as pricey as like the two, three hundred, four hundred dollar dresses that you're seeing girls buy from Revolve. Super Down is slowly but surely becoming like one of my favorite brands that I found on Revolve because not only is it affordable, but I have never not liked 
anything that I've bought from Superdown yet. I have like three or four things from them now. I have two shirts, a dress, and then I have something else, I believe. And I've always loved every single thing that I've gotten. So would highly recommend looking into that brand. I'm gonna have this specific dress linked down below. I'm also wearing this in a size small. It was between getting a small and a medium because I didn't want it to be too tight. And I would say small is my normal size and it's definitely very true to size. So just get whatever size you would normally get in this dress and I love it. I mean guys, this material is insane. It's like double layered kind of. So obviously it's not see-through, but it's also super thick, but not thick to the point where you would sweat. And I feel like I could dress this down with Air Force Ones and do like a day in the park, or I could go out to a fancy dinner and wear heels. Perfect for all occasions. All right, next item is not a clothing item, but just a bag that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I found on Amazon. Guys, look how pretty this bag is. And tell me this isn't the perfect summer, like in the park, at the beach, at the pool bag. I feel like bags like this are very trendy for summer. They're gonna be very trendy for summer and I'm obsessed with it. It is literally the perfect size. When I first found this on Amazon, I was worried that it was gonna be massive and that I would only be able to use it for like the beach or the pool. But when it came in, I was pleasantly surprised that it's like the perfect walking around the city handbag. I mean, guys, just picture this. Me walking around the city with this bag. She's fabulous and she's affordable, so. This is my new favorite bag from Amazon for the summer. I'm gonna be using this so much. This is what the inside of it looks like and I will have it linked down below as well. All right, next we have this fun little exercise dress. These are very trendy for the summer. And this one is actually from the brand Halara. You've probably seen advertisements for them on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Um, I know their main marketing is like social media, so you've probably seen so many of these dresses or their skirts that they sell on social media. And like me, you're probably wondering if they're legit, and I'm here to tell you that this dress is so good. So yes, they are legit. I'm obsessed with it. I know there are other brands that sell exercise dresses that people are obsessed with, like Outdoor Voices, Abercrombie sells one, and there are a few other, but I personally love this dress and I'm so happy I decided to go with this brand. One, it's super affordable. Two, there are always discount codes floating around so that's good too. And three, it just, I'm so impressed by the material of this dress. Obviously I haven't washed it or anything so I don't know if it's gonna pill but the material like I would compare to, I don't know, it's like a spandexy material that almost feels like a Lululemon Align material if I'm being completely honest. There's also shorts underneath because it's an exercise dress. And this is what the back looks like. I got it in a size medium. I was between getting a medium and a small, but I have a long torso, so that's kind of where I have an issue with dresses. When you have a torso and you have a butt, it just is a bad combination. So I went for the size up and went with a medium, and I'm so glad I did because it fits perfectly. The only thing that I could see potentially being an issue with this dress is that the straps, they're not adjustable. I'm actually so impressed by the quality and the fact that it was literally so affordable is actually insane. So I'm gonna have a link down below. Halara, you guys are doing something. They also sell really cute like tennis skirts that I was eyeing, but I decided since I've never tried the brand before to just go get the exercise dress first and then if I like the exercise dress, then try out the tennis skirts. So, I may be back on their website soon, not right this second because I need to stop shopping, but soon I may be back on their website to buy some tennis skirts, but this is so cute. They also have this in literally so many colors. I just decided to do black because it's a neutral color and I love neutral colors and I wanted at least one exercise dress in black, but they have it in like pink, green, blue, white, you name it, they probably have the colors. Very cute, very fun for summer. Very glad that these are trendy because these are so comfortable and it's literally so freaking flattering. Like, wow, she's a cute exercise girly. I decided to keep the exercise dress on because it's so comfy and I definitely wanna go on a walk later. So we'll do the basic exercise dress, Lululemon belt bag, hot girl walk today because I don't have time to go to the gym after work. I'm actually gonna go on a picnic. On the West Side Highway, there's like a bunch of different little parks that you can stop and sit in. So I think my boyfriend and I are gonna order pizza, put down a little picnic blanket, crack open a bottle of wine, considering I now have so many bottles of wine thanks to Macy's. 
and just like watch the sunset on that side of the highway it was so pretty when we did it last week and we went to little island and watched the sunset from there and i was absolutely obsessed so i definitely want to go back i wish that the east side had something similar to like the west side highway parks because it has like the little island and all those different piers and stuff like that and there's always activities to do there's like a walking path there's so many fields to sit in just like so many things to do they also have some bars and restaurants and stuff like that on the water and unfortunately the east side just doesn't have that which i totally understand why and that's like a whole different topic that we don't need to discuss but it, it would be convenient to have at least like one pier or something of that sort on the east side because i don't really ever walk on the water on the east side because it's so hard to get to and there's just nothing really over there when you go over there there's like a little walking path and some parks where people play kickball and stuff but it's not even close to like the west side highway parks and stuff like that so gonna go over there after work and chill out which means that i don't have time to go to spin or pilates or anything like that so i definitely want to try to get a walk in at some point today i also think it's supposed to be like stunning outside so i definitely want some fresh air i am officially done with meetings for the day it's almost two o'clock i'm gonna go for a little like lunch break walk i think i'm gonna go to a bookstore there's one really close by and i think i'm just gonna spend my lunch break looking at used books i only have like three left on my tbr like physical book shelf so i need to pick up some more i was gonna order them off of amazon last night but then i was like why don't i just go to a local bookstore and pick some up tomorrow because one i don't have to wait for shipping to support local businesses so i think i'm gonna do that wanted to do a little outfit of the day i know i showed you guys this in the haul but i figured i'd show you like the full fit of what i'm gonna wear with it exercise dress is from halara i'm wearing my nike shoes because i feel like if you're going to wear an exercise dress, you have to pair it with some tennis shoes. I actually have new ones coming in the mail to my house in Virginia. I customize like Nikes and I cannot wait to wear them with this dress because I feel like it's just going to be a whole look. I'm also so excited to show you guys those shoes because I'm just like very excited about them. These ones have holes in the toes and then those ones are just so old. So I was like way overdue for some new tennis shoes and I just splurged, customized them. They're going to look so good. Then I'm wearing my Apple Watch white band wearing my amazon sunglasses these are new because i broke my old ones but super cheap i can have them linked down below and then we're gonna top it off with a tote bag i know i said i was gonna wear my lululemon belt bag with this and just make it the whole basic outfit but one this is still basic wearing a tote bag in new york two if i'm gonna buy books i might as well bring a tote bag to carry the books back so i don't have to use like a plastic bag or one of the bags from the store you know save the environment so this is the fit for the hot girl walk she's basic but she's also athletic and she's fun and she's flirty and i love it <laughs> and that was so obnoxious i'm never doing that again bookstore was an absolute bust i like didn't find any of the books that were on my list unfortunately and it was so crowded for a friday which is weird so i stopped by target after and this is all i got i got baked lays these are my favorites clorox wipes starbucks iced coffee and then new razors smallest haul ever but there you go Okay, it's a little bit later, I'm done with work, and I'm getting ready to head out to go on the picnic I was talking about earlier, but I wanted to do a little outfit of the night, so I'm wearing this black button-up that I actually normally wear as a swim cover-up. I'm pretty sure it's from either Misguided or Nasty Gal. I'm obsessed with it, I've had it for years. Such a good closet staple. Wearing a Princess Polly basic white tank, the jean shorts that I was showing you guys earlier from Rollus Revolve, my Kate Spade bag, then I decided to make the outfit a little bit quirky with some cowboy boots. I just think that they're super fun and I haven't been wearing them a lot lately. I think I've only worn them like once or twice. Figured it would kind of like spruce up the vibe and just make it super fun. We're also not walking around a lot because we're going to be like sitting down on a picnic blanket. So yeah, that's the outfit of the night. Also, I figured I'd show you while I have a minute what's in my little picnic bag. So I have this picnic blanket from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. This side is super comfy and soft and like a cloth material 
and the other side is plastic so this is the side that you put down on the grass which is so nice because if the grass is wet or has like stuff on it this is waterproof so you can literally just wipe it down like you don't have to throw the whole thing in the wash unless you get something stained on this side I love it like I said I got off Amazon I'll have a link down below it's like my favorite literally two of my friends went out and bought their own after they saw mine and like used mine that's how good it is big fan of this then I probably should have done this before <laughs> I have like a little Yeti cup for the wine because I don't think technically you're allowed to have open containers in the park we're going to so we gotta be a little sneaky about it but just brought a little like Yeti Chervis then I have a water bottle and then I kept this in the fridge until I'm leaving but we decided to go with a rosé. This is, I don't know the name of it, House Party 2019 from Lodi, California. I just realized that wasn't focused. I think the label is so cute and I'm very excited to try it. That'll be good. I'm just gonna leave that in there so that it's cold and then I will grab it on my way out. And then I'm just using my Brooklyn and tote to carry it all. I wish I had like a little bit of a bigger tote bag because this thing is so tall that it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to carry but nothing will fit in here obviously since I have a smaller purse. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my picnic bag. Robbed. Okay, so we brought the bottle of wine. This is our view. Stunning, but literally forgot to bring a wine cork. So it's because I'm so used to us having screw top wine that I literally don't even like think about corkscrews anymore. Right. And I forgot. So I'm going to try to open it with my key. But this is the vibe. It's very pretty. Push the cork into the bottle so that we could fill up our Yetis. And the pizza. Pretty good. It's from Brunetti. It's in the West Village. I would recommend. Not the ants taking over my body. You good back there? There's no sunset tonight. Just like 75% of the reason for coming to this park. And we're out of wine. Yeah, I actually want some more wine. Let's go. But where are we gonna drink it? One of the waters. We got coke. On the water, we got cups. Welcome back. Look at the ducks. Baby Aren't ducks. they really cute? Yeah, I was that? showing the vlog our future home, Jersey City. No, the Manhattan the zoo. You wanna live in a boat? <laughs> Jersey City. Oh, look at the baby. Babe, Jersey no, I'm, City. I'm I know, I already saw the ducks. I showed the vlog. Well, that's that's a goose and those are ducks. Okay, the baby geese. No, 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 that's baby ducks. That's not their dad. <laughs> you know that vine? You're not my dad. Wait, the lights just went on. morning you guys well actually it's good afternoon because it's like 11 30 and I'm eating a sandwich already but happy Saturday last night was fun we just like had a chill night we did the picnic in the park on the West Side Highway had some wine had some pizza then we came back here and I knocked I was so tired slept in a little bit this morning I slept until like 9 30 then just laid in bed, had coffee, watched some YouTube, and now I'm up and at him. I just took a shower. I'm not leaving my hair like this, but I do want to put my hair in a ponytail today. But the ponytail itself like needed to be tamed, so I'm putting this braid in just for a little bit. So that the ponytail will be a little bit wavy and less chaotic as it was before. Little hack, I guess. Hair hack of the day. And yeah, like I said, now I'm eating a sandwich, watching more YouTube. I'm having a very slow start to the morning because I like, don't have any plans today and the weather is pretty gloomy. I saw that it was supposed to rain off and on so I'm like hesitant to even do anything outside for fear of being rained on because there's nothing I hate more than rain. I'm not sure what to do today but I am touring an apartment at 4 p.m. That's something to look forward to. I'm gonna try to take some clips when I'm there. Um, I don't know if they'll let me and I don't even know if we're seeing an actual unit or just the apartment building. But yeah, I'm not moving till September, October timeframe, but 
I'm looking at a luxury building in Williamsburg. So I feel like you kind of have to tour those ahead of time so that when a unit becomes available, you can just automatically like sign and you know the building and stuff. So I'm starting to tour a little bit earlier even though I'm not moving for like four or five months. But I just want to make sure I know what the building looks like and know the vibe of the building. That way when it comes time to sign a lease, I know which buildings are my favorite and which buildings I would potentially sign a lease for. Also, a lot of these buildings in Williamsburg already know if they're going to have any vacancies in September, October time frame. I think the leasing agent said like by the end of June. So that'll be good too because honestly I could sign a lease like sooner rather than later and have my spot secured for the upcoming months. But it's a whole thing so touring an apartment today I'm gonna try to take you as long with me like I said but I don't know if they're gonna let me film and I don't know really how to ask to film kind of awkward I think when it comes down to actually like fully apartment hunting I'm definitely gonna do like an apartment hunting series on my channel where I take you guys through the buildings share the amenities the prices so on and so forth and kind of go from there but just for this one-off building I'm not gonna include that in the series because you know what's the point so that is what I'm getting up to today. Not much, but at least I have something to look forward to. And then I think we're going out to dinner after because why not? It's the weekend. I don't really ever cook on the weekends. That is that. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and say happy Saturday. This is the outfit of the day. I've actually been ready for like two hours. I didn't end up doing anything this afternoon because the weather has said it's been raining on and off. Although my air conditioner is like literally dry. So I feel like my weather app is lying to me and I should have just sucked it up and done something. But you know what? It's too late now. I'm getting ready to head over to Williamsburg for the rest of the day and then we're gonna like tour an apartment, go out to dinner, and I think we're gonna go to my friend's apartment tonight to pregame and then go out to a bar, which neither of us have done in so long, so I feel like I need to be like social and just push myself to get out there. It's gonna be like a very social weekend. So I think that that's the plan, but I wanted to quickly show you my outfit for at least the daytime. This top is from Super Down. I told you guys I'm actually obsessed with that brand from Revolve. I love this little cutout. I think it's just such a fun like quirky way to spruce up a white tank top. These pants are from Abercrombie. I've definitely showed these in several work vlogs like when I go into the office and I wore these for my residency weekend as well. But I decided to dress them down today and I'll either wear Converse or Air Force Ones or something with it. But I really like the way that it looks with this top and I think it's a fun summer color. Then I did decide to leave the braid in my hair. I just redid the ponytail because I don't know, I think the braid's kind of fun. It's different. Braids are also really in right now, so I feel very on trend. But I want to do the outfit of the day before I head out because then I don't know how much I'm going to vlog for the rest of the day. Like I said, I'm going to try to film a little bit of the apartment tour, but I don't really know what it's going to consist of or if they'll even be able to show us an actual unit, so we shall see. Also, I'm using this handbag. I didn't realize that there are like secret pockets in this. Well, this is really hard to show with one hand, but basically these flaps lift up and there's like pockets on the inside if you guys can see that. So you can keep your wallet and stuff secured so it doesn't fall out. I didn't realize that yesterday when I showed you guys, but I think that's such a cool addition to the bag. Definitely makes me feel a little bit better about putting stuff in here because before I was like, what if stuff falls out? But now I think it'll be fine. Hello, happy Sunday. I was literally so bad at vlogging yesterday and honestly this morning it's literally already 12.30 or noon and I'm getting ready to go to brunch. But I just wanted to recap today yesterday. Also, I'm gonna do my makeup while talking to you guys, so bear with me. But I just wanted to recap the day yesterday. It was so freaking rainy in the city that I really didn't end up doing anything in the afternoon and then we ended up running to Lululemon, getting a coffee, from Blue Bottle. I actually did take a clip of that, so that's about it. And then we toured that apartment, which that building was insane and I absolutely love it. Pros of the building were that obviously the amenities, so nice. The apartment itself was so nice. I love all the finishes. It, there was like white countertops, gray finishes. Um, there was an in-unit washer dryer, which is really nice. And natural lighting was good, big windows. 
The only downfall of the building, I would say, is that it's a little bit of a walk from the subway, which, I mean, we work remote for the most part, so it's not that big of a deal. I also think they have a shuttle service where you can schedule a shuttle to pick you up to drop you off at the subway if needed, if you're feeling like lazy or if there's raining or snowing or something like that outside and there was another one yeah the space itself is kind of small i would say that's another downfall of the building is that yes the apartment's really nice but for two people that need to have two desks and a bed and our full wardrobes and stuff like that the unit itself was kind of small obviously we would make it work and there are other places in the apartment building like the amenities section where we could go and like work remotely if we needed to and I also probably just like work remotely in some of the community spaces during the week so that's the plus side is that there is a lot of space to work outside of your apartment but you know you don't always want to leave your apartment and I don't want to like have us kill each other over being in each other's spaces you know 24 7 so that's the only downfall my camera died so sorry if the angle's a little bit different um, but yeah, we really love the apartment. We're, get, we're on a wait list to see if any one bedrooms open up October, September time frame. I know I just said those months backwards. So we won't know if any units are opening up until like July and even then it's not guaranteed that we'll get a unit depending on how large the wait list list is and they said that the way that they choose who gets the apartment is whoever submits the deposit first. So. That's like really nerve wracking and like kind of stresses me out, but I think it's just how it is with these buildings. But now I have like the apartment hunting itch and I just want to go look at all the Lux buildings in Williamsburg and like check them all off my list, you know what I mean? So I think that we're definitely going to do more tours coming up here soon. Um, probably when we get back from Virginia because we're going to Virginia literally this coming weekend so we don't have time to tour any more apartments but I think once we get back I definitely want to just like fully schedule it because if they have a waitlist system like this last one did then we want to get on the waitlist for whichever ones we like really like and kind of narrow down the ones that we like so that was super exciting like I said now I have the itch and just like want to go look at all the Lux buildings I also feel like after looking at that I just can't not live in a Lux building in Williamsburg as stuff Stuck up as that sounds, I'm just like over living in a walk-up building with like no washer dryer and like the way I've been living. I'm from DC. I know that all of the apartments in DC are like luxe buildings and I just like want that lifestyle. So I'm not accepting anything less. Unless we find like a really nice building that's not luxe, that's like a, um, what is it called? Like a, what is it called? When there's two floors? but the second floor is just a bedroom. A duplex, I think is what it's called, or just like a nice modern building with a washer dryer, like I'll accept that, but I do wanna like definitely kind of live a little bit more upscale than I have been living in this apartment for the past two years. You guys know that I've had my struggles with this apartment, doesn't have a washer dryer, has cockroaches, it's just kind of like a pain in my ass overall. It's been a good growing experience, but I'm over the experience. I've experienced it. I've learned all the lessons that I need to learn and I'm ready to move on. So that was that. And then we went to a friend's pregame last night. Then we went out to a bar for a little bit. Literally haven't been out in a bar in New York in I think months. So <laughs> that was nice kind of getting out in the town before we leave for two weeks. We kind of got our New York experience in before we're gone for a little bit. And now, like I said, I'm getting ready to head out to brunch. I'm going to a drag brunch. I've never been, but I'm literally so freaking excited. Drag brunch is like one of the number one things to do when you're in the city. And I've lived here for almost two years now and I've never been. So I think it was about time to experience that. So very excited. That's what's the plan for today. I don't know if I'm going to vlog much, honestly, because I'm going with a big group of people that I normally don't hang out with. And I just feel like it would be kind of like awkward to vlog in front of them. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And I will show you guys the final product. But I need to do my makeup because I keep getting distracted. I cannot vlog and put on makeup at the same time. This is also probably so distracting for you guys. So I apologize. We ordered pre-brunch bagels because I am literally starving and low-key a little hungover from last night. So we ordered from this. Why does that look kind of sus? Why do you look kind of sus? Uh, it's Didn't respond. It's crazy. This is the final look minus the slippers. I just don't feel like putting on shoes yet. I'm wearing that green dress that I showed you guys at the beginning of the vlog from Super Down on Revolve. It'll be linked down below. 
Then I'm wearing some gold jewelry. I never really wear this pendant, but I thought it would be cute to kind of spruce up this outfit since the dress is like a little bit plain. Then I'm wearing my bigger hoops today. I think that these are both from Miranda Fry. I can definitely link these. If the pendant is still on the website, I'll link it too. I'm pretty sure it's just a pendant that symbolizes hope or something of that sort. But I really like my outfit. Then I put my hair in braids for a little bit so it's a little wavy. I don't know what shoes to wear. I'm thinking Air Force Ones, but I also feel like this could be cute with heels. But like, I don't know if it's a heels vibe, you know what I mean? So stay tuned for the shoes I'm wearing, but this is the outfit. Okay, I decided to go with the boots again because I feel like they are so cute with this outfit. And I just need literally every excuse to wear them. So we're bringing them back out.